As you're watching this video, you're probably thinking and wondering how tall pros take such wonderful meaty divots after the ball and compress the ball beautifully and kind of optimize their distance with ease. Well, today I'm gonna to share with you the secrets of what they do to make it look so effortless and easy and you'll be able to do that instantly yourself. I'm gonna share with you a concept which is you can take to the golf course straight away and it'll improve your golf straight away. I'm also gonna share with you a very simple three-step practice process that'll improve your ball striking and guarantee you hitting divots after the ball every single time. So a gentleman called Mark came to me. He's a regular client of mine and he's a good golfer. He plays off nine handicap, but Mark was not taking divots after the ball and he wasn't completely satisfied with his strike. A good player, nevertheless, but just tend to hit the ball a little bit low in the face and no divot after the ball. So we shared with him this concept of his trail wrist and instantly being measured by Trapman, his angle of attack changed from hitting slightly up on the golf ball to down on the golf ball and he started taking lovely meaty divots. The negative to this was that he now had to go and fetch his divots. And Mark, being Mark, wasn't completely happy with having to walk and fetch a divot, but otherwise he was chuffed. Keep watching to learn the three-step process and clarify this secret concept. Okay, so we're looking at compression. Compression for me is all about getting the center of gravity of the club, matching the center of gravity of the ball, and hitting it at a nice downward angle of attack. Taking that meaty divot after the ball like we discussed in the introduction. So how do we achieve that? So let me share that concept we talked about first of all in the introduction. The right wrist throw, which made a real difference, a game changer to Mark. What we talked about with Mark is as he came down to the golf ball, trying to feel that his right wrist was in the position that he was gonna throw the golf ball on top of the golf ball on the ground. So he had this kind of action and trying to get his right wrist staying what we would class as an extension through the hitting zone. So trying to keep that right wrist in this kind of what I would call max range extension, what that does to the shaft, if you look at it, it creates a lot of shaft lean and creating this shaft lean produces a more dynamic golf shot by de-lofting the club, but also helping us achieve our low point later and after the golf ball to produce that ball then divot. So that's just that simple concept was a real game changer for Mark. Let's go ahead and hit one. Just trying to feel that little concept through the golf ball. And as you'll see there, really nice interaction with the ground ball and turf, low point after the ball, and I was really pleased with the strike. Now let's go through the three-step process that's gonna make this ball striking really easy. As I've already just discussed, the concept is something you can take to the golf course for every single shot straight away. But this process is now for the practice ground to enforce these things and to get your body and arms moving in the way that's gonna make this consistent and repeatable. Stage one is what I call digging in the dirt. So from a narrow stance, just trying to feel that the golf club kind of buries itself in the ground with no fall through, but we're really trying to get the golf club to dig deep after the golf ball, really bury itself. Very little movement with the body and, such a, and a very small swing to start with. Let's just talk you through that. So a narrow stance. And just really bury that club into the ground. Just take a look at that divot, how deep that is. The greenkeeper is not gonna be happy, but I'll repair it before I go. That is phase one. Get that deep divot after the ball every single time. Phase two, we're now gonna add some body rotation. So the idea is what I'm gonna to start to do is start to rotate and relocate my body. The shaft this time is gonna to point to the ground, an area after the golf ball, about two foot. And the thumbs are gonna point down to the ground. So we're trying to keep this lead wrist into a flexed state, the right wrist into an extended state. And again, this is gonna achieve that downward angle attack and that de-lofting strong club face look through the golf ball. Only thing you've got to watch out for, make sure you stay connected with the arm as you go into this slight bit of pivot through the golf ball. Otherwise your arms will disconnect and you possibly get some shanks or pushes to the right. Let's show you that one. So the fall through there, 
perhaps a tad longer than I wanted, but I was really happy with the control and structure of my arms, the strike, the ball turf contact was exactly what I was looking for. That's phase two. Phase three, this is all about now making this more into a normal swing. I'm gonna try and do nothing different with my arms. My arms are still gonna feel like they finish here. They won't finish there because of the momentum of what I'm gonna do with my body. What I'm gonna try and do with my body is relocate my body further through, get my chest or heart to the sky more, try and feel I've got a little bit more of that extension in my back, and that's gonna make the club travel a bit further into this kind of Tommy Fleetwood look finish. We're still after a very wooden looking swing to get that shaft lean, get that as wrist positions to make a difference through impact. And what you'll see there is the divot is getting shallower shot by shot, and that's the whole idea. We make it really deep, add some pivot, add some more pivot, and the divot gets less, but we're still hitting down on the ball consistently getting that low point in the right spot, which is after the golf ball, somewhere around about our armpit, and we're getting that compression on the golf ball, which is the magic thing. Everyone wants to learn how to compress the ball and get that effortless feeling of the buttered strike when you make contact with the ball. So as you would have seen in that video, it's a real simple process to be able to improve your ball striking and start taking ball, then turf, straight away. This will make instant results in your game and instantly improve the way you feel about your shots after you hit them. And also, gonna lower your scores. You're gonna hit better shots, more productive shots, more effortless power that's gonna make a real difference to help you play better. If you've enjoyed the video, please chat down below, post any questions, some feedback, uh, any requests for videos. I welcome all those to really help drive my channel forward in the right way. I'd also like to ask you to like and share the video if you have enjoyed it. And also please subscribe to Alistair Davis Golf because that really helps my channel. It really helps me take the channel in the direction that's gonna help improve your golf. Thanks for joining me today at the Forest of Arden and I hope to see you back here real soon.